there's only one way to explore these cities whenever I go traveling. Uh, well, there's obviously more than one way, but my favorite way is on this baby. <laughs> like fun. This weather's just rubbish man. This is not what I was expecting in Texas. Yesterday when I arrived it was just glorious sunshine and you could see for miles just blue skies. Today you just can't see a thing. And this place is so hilly that I don't think I can go very far even on the mighty electric skateboard. I don't want to go too far down the side of this enormous mountain because I don't really want to have to walk all the way back up again. Is that like a, a big deal in golf terms? Is the Valero Texas Open like an actual big tournament? I don't really do golf. Turns out, sometimes the skateboard's not the best place, not the best way to look around. Um, this place is just in the middle of nowhere, up on top of a massive hill with nothing around it, and the fog is so bad that I can't see more than 50 yards in front of me anyway. So uh, I'm only here, I'm in the US for less than 24 hours. Literally, I leave again this afternoon. Um, and I had a couple of hours spare this morning, just wanted to get out and have a look around. The skateboard, though, is not the way to do it. Um, breakfast. I thought for a moment, just for a moment, that that was a real fire. But alas, it's a fake. Very well so far. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing excellent, thank you. Is this yep. a good table for you? Thank you very much. Now, what I've done is I've had breakfast now. I've had a massive, being America, I've obviously had a massive breakfast. Uh, there is no other such thing here in the States. Um, and now I've got a few hours, I've got a couple of hours until I need to uh, kind of go to work. And then now I'm thinking I really should have gone for a run. Um, didn't get very far on the skateboard. I still want to get out and about. How long do you think I need to leave it to let this breakfast go down before I go for a run? Not sure. I'm going to try and catch up with the Formula E events from Mexico City. First time I've missed a Formula E race for ages, uh, and I'm gutted. You know what a big fan of Formula E I am. I don't like to miss them. Um, it also means it's the first one. In fact, it's the first Formula E race I've not worked on for as long as I can remember. Now, they asked me if I could bring with me a prize to give away to uh, a competition winner at this afternoon's event here in Texas. And so I dug out, went through my loft, and dug out one of my old McLaren shirts. Brings back cool memories. But I've just got it out of the bag. Uh, firstly, it definitely needs an iron, because they're about to put it in a frame. Uh, and secondly, it's still got some dirt on it. <laughs> do, you think that, uh, do you think that makes it a bit rubbish, or does it make it uh, authentic? I'm hoping it's authentic. <laughs> Not entirely sure whether this adds value or devalues it, but they have asked me to sign it, so, so here we go. If I sign over the dirty bit, maybe it'll hide it. God, I hope this works. Oh God. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a pro at that, can't you? <laughs> Right, got about 45 minutes. I'm going for a run. You're coming with 
come in with me. See a bit further now. Can I go running through here or is that yes, frowned upon? Yes, sir. Is it? Okay. It's frowned upon. <laughs> I love the size of American trucks. <laughs> Look at them. Who needs a car that big? <laughs> Actually, who am I kidding? I need a car that big. I've got four kids and a dog. <laughs> One of the things about travelling so much with work, and this is the same whether you're in Formula One or travelling for business in any industry, I guess, is that you never see as much of the places that you go as you'd really like. Um, you know, in Formula One, we go to some amazing parts of the world, but quite often it's just a case of seeing the airport, the hotel, the racetrack, back to the hotel and then the airport again. So I always think it's really important even if you only get a spare half an hour in your day or at the end of a day just to get out and see something of the place that we are in <sighs> I can hardly speak, sorry <sighs> There's something about American muscle cars <laughs> they're not efficient they're not in any way environmentally friendly but they're loud and a lot of fun <laughs> and they have their own unique styling about them which you just don't get anywhere else in the world you'll very rarely find me in a in a hotel gym um because they're just such sterile places um and i could do that i could do that back at home so wherever possible i'd much rather get out even if it's just for half an hour and run around and have a look I'm really pleased I did that. Um, it's only a short run, and in all honesty, it's not the most picturesque part of the world I've ever been to, but it's still good just to get out of the room, have a little look at the surroundings, get a bit of fresh air, before we start the reason I was actually brought out here, which is to go and talk to a group of people from uh, the automotive industry out here in the States about some of the practices that Formula One teams use um, to, to become successful the ideas of marginal gains and the attention to detail that goes into Formula One, these guys want to try and take some of that on board and put it into their own practices here in the States. Right, I've got to get the room packed up and get out of here. Right, time to go to work. So you need help pronouncing <clears throat> some Formula One drivers' okay. names. Yeah. Is that Mika? Mika. Hackinson? Actually, that's a misprint. It's okay. Mika Hakkinen, so there's no S. David Coulthard? Uh, Coulthard. Coulthard, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Raikkonen? Raikkonen, yeah. Raikkonen. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Kimi Raikkonen. Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Mika Hakkinen. Yeah. David Coulthard. Yeah. Kimi Raikkonen. Perfect. That's it. All right. See you how easy it. that was? <laughs> you got it. Yeah, just a very quick flick through the slides would be great. No, no, no. Like two minutes. Literally two minutes. We're all mic'd up. Uh, just about to quickly flick through my slide deck, um, which should, in theory, change the screens. These enormous screens behind me. Uh, there we go. Look at that. It only works. <laughs> right, we're ready to go. Uh, in about, about 20 minutes, I think, this place will be filled up with people uh, and I'll be talking to them all about the wonders of Formula One. Quick plug for the socials. Done. 
Um, went really well. Now I've got to run for my flight. Bye. <laughs>